Reconciliation is not easy. It is extremely difficult. What or who do you meet in a journey to reconciliation? You have critics and you have friends along the way. Critics concentrate on your flaws. Friends will be correctional. They'll help you focus on your potential. So as Kenyans, we need to ask ourselves, how do we navigate between the critics and the friends on our journey to reconciliation? Do you give critics more time than you give to your friends? Or do you balance it out? But one thing is clear. If you have to reconcile, do not be discouraged by your critics. Reconciliation also means coming to terms with reality and learning how to navigate within that space. Reconciliation also means sacrifice to have flipped the downtrodden. Mr. Hastings, as you spoke, you talked of the second vulture. The question that we ask ourselves, the Constitution of Kenya demands so many things of us. We must provide universal health care. We must provide shelter. We must provide food. We must provide for education. So the question that I pose is this. When the president of Kenya says we need to make a contribution to provide shelter to those that do not have it, are we vultures? If we, he says that we need to provide support so that our children can go to school, and we stand up and say, I have educated my children, I therefore do not need to contribute to any education fund. Are we being vultures? So reconciliation is also sacrifice for the better. That's why I say it is not easy, at least from where I stand. Finally, Mr. Speaker, let us pray for Kenya. You asked me to say something about prayers, and that is what I say. <laughs> Thank you.